Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Devotions at the Garden of Faith. I hope everybody's doing okay. <clears throat> On our prayer request, Joyce friends, Joy's friend Becky's x-ray shows she had maximum damage to her heart and clogged arteries. When they went inside, now there is a minimum minimal damage and no clogged arteries and the doctors are baffled. That's what prayer can do. Vincent hasn't got the results yet for the virus. Kathy, pray for her and her dog Molly. Molly's having kidney removed July 22nd. Uh, Karina would like prayer for all the churches that are supposed to close their doors. Popal Backyard Farm, pray her cash comes off easily uh, this week. Uh, Patricia, they changed the hematologist appointment to Wednesday, so she can't have surgery until after that. Please pray she all, that she also doesn't have cancer. <laughs> Diane's family is going to Florida on vacation. Pray they will be safe. <coughs> Kay Reeves needs prayer. She was hit by a car. She's sore and scratched up. Isaac, Karina's cousin, has a virus. Pray he's better soon. Terry, pray her, her kids, and grandchildren don't get the virus. Because this Isaac was is a part of that family and they were all around him. Tweets, her infection isn't going all the way. Pray it goes away soon. Her med is making her sick. Some of those antibiotics will make you feel sick. I had one uh, when they were giving me when I was in the hospital. It made my leg so sore I couldn't really hardly walk even. Our scriptures today come from Deuteronomy 6, 1 through 9. These are the commands, decrees, and laws of the Lord your God directed me to teach you to observe in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess, so that you, your children, and their children after them may not fear the Lord your God as long as you live by keeping all his decrees and commands that I give you and so that you may enjoy long life. Hear Israel and be careful to obey so that it may go well with you and that you may increase greatly in a land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord, the God of your ancestors promised you. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you talk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. Our devotion today is entitled, On Our Hearts. After a young boy faced some challenges in school, his dad began to teach him a pledge to recite each morning before school. I thank God for waking me up today. I am going to school so I can learn and be the leader that God has created me to be. The pledge is one way the father hopes to help his son apply himself and deal with life's inevitable challenges. In a way, by helping his son to commit this pledge to memory, the father is doing something similar to what God commanded the Israelites in the desert. These commandments are to be on your hearts, impress them on your children. After wandering in the wilderness for 40 years, the next generation of Israelites was about to enter the promised land. God knew it wouldn't be easy for them to succeed unless they kept their focus on him. And so, through Moses, he urged them to remember and be obedient to him 
and to help their children to know and love God by talking about His Word. When you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up, each new, new day we too can commit to allowing Scripture to guide our hearts and minds as we live in gratitude to Him. What can you do to keep Scripture on your heart? Why is it important to read and talk about the Word with loved ones? Dear God, thank you for giving me each new day. Help me to keep your wisdom in my heart and on my mind. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on the prayer list. Please help all of them with their different problems and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions at the Garden of Faith. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day. It's going to be another hot one. It already is. So I'm going to get my walk in here in just a few. So check in for my walk with me. All right, everybody. Have a great day, and I'll see you later. God bless.